I moved from uh, Egypt to Canada in 2005. I graduated um, from the University of Fine Arts with a bachelor degree in architect and the whole idea is I wanted to uh, move somewhere new, seek new horizons, better future. My career change wasn't really my plan, um, it all happened by accident. When I first moved to Toronto and I found a job for a graphic designer and branding and uh, one day while um, designing the site and, and putting some marketing ideas, the owner of the company walked in my office and said, Basim, how can we become the first on Google and my eyes like were wide open I'm like I have no idea let me check on it and uh, I bought a book and uh, within six months we like tripled uh, the traffic for the website and that's really what sparked the interest in search engine marketing and search engine optimization I'm like how come little few things that you can do to your website can like triple your business how um, interesting was it to understand how people react on online um, and the numbers and the conversions was really intriguing to me and that's really what got me into this whole search engine marketing. The interesting part about search engine marketing and search engine optimization that there is no official education for it. The secret sauce is, is held by the search engines like Google and Bing. Nobody really come in the open and say this is what you should do. So I did a lot of reading. There is a lot of information online and that's the power of online. I read and read and read for like three, four years. I couldn't stop reading, got few online certificates, um, attended a few big conferences uh, in, uh, in Atlanta, in uh, um, California, in New York. Uh, so it's, it's going to see those big players and going to listen to Google speaker talking and Microsoft speaker talking on the technology and how it's developed. I think that's, that's the most important part because it's, a, it's an ever changing industry so you have to be updated all the time you cannot stop reading you cannot stop learning after i think a year working for that small company i found a job uh, at the uh, toronto star for new and homes uh, to do uh, online marketing and search engine optimization and i applied for the job um, came to the interview uh, the interview was very friendly um, and I told a few jokes and I got the job after an hour and a half from the interview. Um, so after I, I took the job at the Toronto Star, uh, I worked there for about two years and a half um, and we achieved great results. In, in two and a half years, I think we increased the traffic by almost 3,000%. And uh, after that, I was so lucky to be approached by Canadian Tire for a job that I didn't even apply for. Uh, apparently they were looking for someone to head the online marketing team for about four months and they haven't got any luck. Uh, so one of the internal uh, recruiters reached out to me on LinkedIn uh, and asked me to come for an interview and, and that was the highlight of, of my career. Um, that was the biggest title I ever had, that was the biggest salary I ever had. After two years working for Canadian Tire, I thought it's the time to, to do it for myself. I worked with the biggest agencies in Toronto. I, I worked with all the experts, it gave me a lot of exposure. I worked on so many projects and launched so many new products. So I think I really developed my own skills and my own management, uh, project management skill itself. And I said, well, I always wanted to be my own boss. I don't think Canada is one of those countries that you, you suffer from uh, being discriminated against because you're a new immigrant. Canadian corporations are very respectful and, and the value of work here in Canada um, is, is, is much appreciated. My advice for the newcomers or the people about to move to Canada um, is really have a lot of courage. It's not an easy migration process. Um, a lot of the qualifications and the things we rely on in the Middle East don't worth a lot here. Uh, so have faith in yourself, have a belief that you will make it because this country reward hard workers. So don't let the first uh, things struggle you and, and you can't give up that easily um, and, and you have to pursue your dreams. Thank you.